Alrighty, one last one that we're going to look at and then I'll have another video with a few miscellaneous items on it as well. Here's our thigh. We're going to look at our quadriceps. Rectus femoris in the middle, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis. <coughs> Remember underneath of this you'd have your vastus intermedius here. Looking on the lateral aspect, you have your gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, the tensor fascia lata connected to your IT band. Looking at the hamstrings, you have your semitendinosus, semimembranosus. Remember, those are the medial ones. And then here, laterally, you have your biceps femoris long head and short head right underneath. Looking on the medial aspect of the thigh, we have our two strap muscles, gracilis, semitendinosus, I mean, I'm sorry, sartorius, gracilis and sartorius, remember they make this V. In between, you have adductor longus and underneath of gracilis and kind of around on both sides of gracilis you have adductor magnus so you can see part of it here you can see part of it here moving down to the lower leg anteriorly we have tibialis anterior extensor digitorum longus and peeking out in between we have extensor Halysis longus. Laterally, we have fibularis longus, fibularis brevis, right in front of that. The posterior aspect, we have the gastrocnemius muscle, medial head, lateral head. Be sure to look at your foot for medial and lateral. Big toe is medial, always, always underneath and in between the two heads of the gastrocnemius you have your plantaris tendon and muscle. So this is the muscle body of the plantaris. Here's the tendon of the plantaris here, that little gray structure. This is all soleus. Gastrocnemius has been taken off. Soleus is here as well. Take this off, look underneath, all soleus. And this is nice because you can actually see a separation here for that plantaris muscle. This is all plantaris. Deep posterior muscles, you have your flexor hallucis longus, your flexor digitorum longus, and in between you have your tibialis posterior under these vessels here. We can look at the tendons. I don't know if that might be a little bit blurry, but one two, three, Tom, Dick, Harry, tibialis posterior, flexor digitorum longus, flexor halysis longus with an artery and nerve in between. Back up to the knee, we have popliteus. And here you can see the cut ends of your gastrocnemius, medial and lateral head, as well as all the tendons coming down from your thigh Here's gracilis, semimembranosus, semitendinosus, sartorius. <clears throat> That's it for the leg. I'll just have some miscellaneous things to show in another video, and we'll be done. Okay, I wanted to show you the hand and the foot model just in case, because you can, even though you don't have to know these muscles up here for the hand, you do have to know these muscles that come into the wrist. And you, this is just a different view of those same muscles looking at the tendons in particular. So on this anterior surface, the most prominent one is right here. And you can see it going all the way down into the palm. Now it's gonna be connected to this thing, which I've taken off, which covers the palm of the hand. So this is the palmaris longus tendon. And then remember underneath palmaris longus, what muscle do you have? You have your flexor digitorum superficialis, which is what all this muscle is here. Now then you also have a muscle here attaching to the radial side of the wrist. This is your flexor carpi radialis. Here's your thumb. 
and if we turn it a little bit like this, you can see your flexor carpi ulnaris on this side. So I'll turn it to the posterior aspect of the dorsal surface. You can see your extensor digitorum going to the digits here. You can see your extensor digiti there. minimi. It has a little A on you it. You have, actually it's probably this tendon right, right next to the A is your extensor digiti minimi. This is all part of extensor digitorum. You have a tendon here, which would be your extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis. You have your extensor carpi ulnaris here. And you can even see on this, we would probably never ask you this on a test, but you can even see your abductor pollicis longus and your extensor pollicis brevis tendons here. Those are a little bit more tricky for you guys, so. But make sure you take a peek at him, especially for these muscles here, which are pretty clear. And then we have a foot model as well in the lab. And this is nice because it gives you a nice clear picture of some of these muscles. You can see your Achilles tendon here with your soleus. Now the gastrocnemius has mostly been cut off. You can just kind of see the tendon there. <sighs> Little toe. So this is a lateral aspect. And you can see a nice fibularis longus tendon here and a fibularis brevis tendon right next to it. So here's your lateral malleolus. The anterior aspect of the foot. Let's see if you guys can see that. You can see your tibialis anterior coming down, your extensor digitorum coming down, and you can follow this out to the digits here. And then right in between that, you can see your extensor halysis coming down to the big toe. So this is a nice one because those three tendons are very distinct. You can see them very well on there. Tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, extensor hallucis longus. we take the calf off, you can see these posterior muscles pretty well also. So this is flexor hallucis longus, flexor digitorum longus. And the only way to see really tibialis posterior on this one is to look at those tendons that I told you the little mnemonic for earlier, right around that malleolus here. So. Tom, Dick, very nervous, Harry. So this one right here is your tibialis posterior. This is your flexor digitorum longus. And this is your flexor halysis longus. And you can even see those in cross section. Flexor digitorum longus, flexor halysis longus, and this one right here is tibialis posterior, and you can see why it's called tibialis posterior, because now you can see it on the tibia. This is your tibialis anterior, your extensor digitorum longus, and your extensor halysis longus. Oh, I'm sorry. That's peroneus, or fibularis longus. This one right here is your extensor halysis longus. You can just barely make out a definition between those two muscles. All right, here's a little piece of a leg. This also has some ligaments on it and some bony structures, but we have these muscles here. So here are our quadriceps muscles. We have our rectus femoris in the middle. We have our vastus lateralis. How do I know it's lateralis? Well, here's my fibula. Fibula is lateral. Vastus medialis. 
And remember, under the rectus femoris, we have one other muscle, vastus intermedius. If we look at this in cross-section, we can actually see that muscle right on the bone here. Notice there's a little line that divides the rectus femoris and the vastus medialis. Here's your femur. If we turn this over, our hamstrings have been removed, but we see some little pieces of muscles here. And these are actually our gastrocnemius, lateral head, medial head. This little one right here is that plantaris muscle. Okay, kind of coming off with that medial gastrocnemius. And this is the popliteus. Now these muscles have all been cut to expose the knee joint, but it's nice that you can actually see them cut off. So popliteus, plantaris, gastrocnemius lateral head, gastrocnemius medial head, fibula, tibia. We can see the knee joint. We have our medial meniscus here, lateral meniscus. We have our posterior cruciate ligament, our posterior meniscofemoral ligament coming right over top of that, our anterior cruciate ligament crossing back to the front, lateral collateral ligament, medial collateral ligament, and our patellar ligament, patellar tendon here, medial condyle of the femur, medial epicondyle, lateral condyle of the femur, lateral epicondyle, lateral condyle of the tibia, medial condyle of the tibia, tibial tuberosity is where this is attaching here. Here's the head of the fibula. All right, this is the last thing I wanted to show you guys. This is that arm with the little balloon muscles on it. And it's nice because you can kind of manipulate it and see how these muscles are working. It doesn't show all the muscles, so you need to know which ones are on here. This is your biceps brachii. And this nicely shows your short head attaching to that coracobrachialis. And the long head of the biceps brachii going up and over the top of the femur through that intertubercular sulcus. Underneath of that, we have the brachialis muscle right on the humerus. This is your triceps brachii muscle. Turn this around. We can see the attachments for our long head, lateral head, and I'm sorry, that's your medial head here. Long head, medial head, lateral head here. Lateral, long, medial. Looking at the forearm part, we have our brachioradialis here. And remember underneath of that we find our supinator. Here's our pronator teres. Remember pronator teres and supinator go in opposite directions. This one you don't have to know. This is another pronator, but you don't have to know it. So biceps brachii short head, biceps brachii long head, brachialis, triceps brachii medial head, triceps brachii long head, triceps brachii lateral head, brachioradialis, supinator, pronator teres. And I think that does it for the appendicular skeleton.